Hi there, my name is Jacob Norris, and I'm currently lead environment artist at NVIDIA. I wanted to show you a technique I learned along the way while working on Marble's RTX. As you can see here, we have some really interesting paint blending together on, a, on top of a surface. And you can actually see it starts making like purples and lighter blues, and it interacts really well with each other. So the way we're going to do this is instead of working normally like I would where I create a fill layer and then start masking things out, I'm actually going to select a color with my brush settings off to the left and paint directly onto the layer itself. Uh, I'm going to also add a little bit of height information to it so that way we can actually get some realistic brush strokes effects in our normal maps and in our height information. So I'll just paint a little bit of this orange onto the surface. Maybe increase the height a little bit more so we can see it popping. Yeah, something like that. And um, as I'm doing this, now we have it on this flattened layer. It does make it more difficult because we won't be able to turn layers on or off or adjust our uh, our paint quite as, as easily as we normally would. But if we go ahead and select one of our brushes here, similar to if you're using this on an actual brush palette, and we smudge it, we're going to smudge it around with these brushes. And now you can see it's smudging across the surface very realistically, actually. If we swap our brush to something that has more brush strokes, you can see it's, it actually gets this kind of brush painterly effect, like Bob Ross style. Like you can really open up Substance Painter and straight up make some beautiful happy trees like this. Uh, and blend it in with like a mountain in the background or use this for all kinds of things. I'm sure there's techniques I haven't even considered. Like uh, as an example for blending, if I just paint some white right next to here and I blend the two of these together, we'll get like a lighter orange from it. And so I'll just use my brush and kind of start swirling them around in a motion, however you want to do it. And of course, while you're painting, you can actually paint with a standard brush as well. You don't have to use like a, a solid circular brush and paint, but once it's on the surface, you can start smudging it, smudge it with any of the alphas or any of the brushes and see some of the really interesting patterns and some of the, the new forms you're going to start getting out of it. This was super helpful on the project because so many of our assets were just splattered with paint all over the place. But I thought this was kind of fun and I hope you like it. Thanks a lot.